So all this time, we've been looking at matrices and how to calculate stuff with them. But now let's uh, sort of take a turn from that and start looking at what matrices can actually do. Um, they're sometimes called linear transformations. And why do we call it that? Um, what a matrix actually does uh, to a vector or to another mat matrix is transform it in some way. Um, so we're going to think about this uh, in two dimensions, because that's the easiest to visualize on a graph like this. Um, and I'm going to be working with a vector. I'm just going to say 1, 2. So that'll be our, our model for these transformations that we're going to do. I'm going to draw it on uh, this graph right here. So that's 1 in the x direction and 2 in the y direction. So that's our vector. And what a matrix can do to this vector is to transform it in some way. Um, the two we're going to look at today are scaling and shearing. Um, other examples would be a rotation or uh, a reflection. Um, so if you've ever been on Photoshop or something like that, or MS Paint, depending on how ghetto you're feeling, um, you've noticed that you can take a picture, you can make it bigger, you can turn it, um, and shearing, which is kind of shifting it to the side while keeping the uh, height the same. So we can do that with math, actually. It's pretty cool. Um, so first, the most basic matrix transformation we have is the identity matrix, which doesn't do anything. The identity looks like this. So it's just ones along a diagonal and zeros everywhere else. Um, this is the identity of a 2 by 2. If you have 3 by 3 or 4 by 4, it's the same. Just zeros everywhere except along the main diagonal. And if we multiply i by v, that's just going to equal v. i being this, v being that. Um, multiplying the two, we'll just give out the same vector that we started with. Um, so if we want to scale a vector, um, or anything else that we're working with, but here we're working with the 2 by 2 vector, all we need to do is um, multiply this identity matrix by a constant. Um, so we'll have a scaling matrix that'll look something like this. k, 0, 0, k, where k is the arbitrary value that we're scaling by. Um, now we can take this matrix and scale our 1, 2 vector. Say we want to scale it by 2. So let's plug in 2 for k. We'll have 2, 0, 0, 2. Times our vector. Now using our matrix multiplication skills, this is pretty easy because there's a lot of zeros. Um, we just do this out. Um, so we go 2 times 1 plus 0. We get 2. And 0 plus 2 times 2, and that's 4. So that is our scaled vector. Um, notice this is the same as if we just put that constant in front of the vector in the first place, which is you know just multiplying that vector by a constant. It is the same thing. Um, but since we're talking. Um, Transformations, this is the simplest example of what it looks like for a matrix to do that. So we're starting with that. Um, so here we have 2, 4. And if we draw that out, we just go out 2 and up 4. And it's the same vector now, just bigger. Uh, OK, so the other transformation that we're going to talk about today is shearing. Uh, what I mean by shearing, that's um, when you take an image and you almost like push it to the side, so the height will stay the same, but this time it's moved over like that. Um, so if I have a box, it'll turn into like one of those kinds of things. And the height will stay the same, but it's just over to the side. And We can do this uh, in the x or the y dimension. We can shear it horizontally or vertically. Um, for a horizontal shear,
It's the identity matrix, but now we have this arbitrary value k right here. Um, so let's look at what that does. Again, I'm going to say 2, um, shear it by 2. So 1, 2, 0, 1. That's our transformation matrix. And we have the vector 1, 2 again. Now 1 times 1 is 1, plus 2 times 2 is 4. And that gives us a 5 here. And that'll stay as 2. So now what we do, uh, if we plot this one out, we go along five points uh, and up two again. So this was our original vector. It's one, two. Now we've like stretched it to the side and lengthened it. So now it's two, five. Uh, if we do want to do a vertical shear, You might be able to guess. This time it's 1, 0, k, 1. Again, the identity matrix, but with this k right here. And that'll just affect that, uh, that uh, y value. So let's try a shear by 2 again, this time in the vertical direction. So we're transforming the vector 1, 2 uh, by a vertical shear of 2. So cross multiply, we get 1, not cross multiply, you know, rows and columns. That's 1, and 2 times 1 plus 2 times 1, that's 4. So I'm going to uh, graph this. I go 1, end up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. See that? This time, uh, my direction in the horizontal axis is the same, but it's way taller. Um, you know what? I should label these. This is my original vector. One, two. This is two, four. This is five, two. And that was one, four. Cool. Um, so those are these uh, three basic transformations that we have. Um, scaling, just making the vector longer, uh, and these shearing types where we skew it in one direction or the other. Um, check forward for other videos, uh, and we're going to look at some more examples of linear transformations where a, uh, a matrix will be able to change a vector in some way. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series and any of the other math related videos on our channel. If you're not subscribed to our channel, click this link right here. For more help with linear algebra, check out Worldwide Differential Equations with Linear Algebra by Robert McCohen or Elementary Linear Algebra by Bruce Cooperstein. Both are available at an affordable price in digital formats on our website. Just click this link right here.